a rare one-of-a-kind store in Pawtucket is a popular place when it comes to helping you get where you're going. Yeah, the new owner says so far it's been a journey. NBC 10 Sam Reed tonight shows us something good. For Andrew Middleton, who recently moved from California, all roads led him here to 545 Pawtucket Avenue, his now home away from home. People ask me what I think about Rhode Island, and I, I don't have a good answer because I very rarely leave this room. <laughs> Unsure of what direction life was taking him while working and making maps on the West Coast. If everyone's zigging, maybe a good business strategy is to zag. Out east, he heard of an opportunity to own the oldest map store in New England. I was on Twitter chatting with all of my map nerd friends, and they were passing around this article in the Providence Journal about this crazy guy who wanted to give away a map store. In October, Andrew took over, having mapped out his own future with the help of the former owner. He became the owner of the Map Center. The Map Center was started in 1953. Uh, it used to be on Wickenden Street in Providence. Uh, it started to move uptown. It was on North Main for a while. Um, and it has been in this building for the past five or so years. This room consists of thousands of maps of all types and textures. These are maps in Braille. All maps are a little bit of math and a little bit of culture. There's military maps and great geology findings, some with prints or pictures. Others display neighborhoods, roads that have been ruined or built beyond. And a little bit of art and a little bit of history. Representing areas from all over the country, and a majority of them are from southern New England. I love that beautiful mixture of all of those things. With technology at our fingertips for free, Andrew says all of this means much more than a way of learning how to get from point A to point B. In the year 2024, you can't sell information that someone is giving away for free. I don't sell information. I sell stories and I sell stuff. It's history that can be brought into your home. And while the maps are pretty straightforward, owning the store has been a journey thus far. I knew it was going to be hard. I didn't know it was going to be this hard. Andrew says the appreciation from customers who are happy this is still here has helped immensely. He hopes to put this place on the map and like the eight folds he offers, he's hopeful things will turn tenfold. I knew that this place mattered to me. It's been really satisfying to see how it matters to other people. Showing you something good. I'm Sam Reed. It's so interesting because all of us use our phones so much now to, to get to where we're going. Right, like he was saying about giving something away for free. But you know when you do, you go into a building or a hotel and you see an old map and mm. you're just drawn to it. Like you, exactly. you stare at it for yeah. minutes, it seems yeah. like. Yeah, yeah so it's well, If cool. you build it, they will come, right? Mm -hmm. So we wish them the very best. We do.